Hey, it's Coach Chris with Hoops King, and today we're going to look at Luca Garza from the Iowa Hawkeyes and what a great player he is and why he's such a great player. We're going to see him thinking the game. There's a lot of mental aspect to his game that makes him such a great player. It's not just his physical size that makes him a good player. It's he adds the mental side to it. He's a very, very smart basketball player, and I want you to see what he does on the court in games so that maybe you can start applying some of those things to your game and you can become a better player as well. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new videos that are coming out. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments, or if you'd like to suggest any videos for me to make, just put those down in the comments and I'll read through them and maybe I'll make a video for you. Here we're gonna take a look at Luca Garza post-up moves from the top. He's coming off a pick and roll, and he anticipates the ball. He knows where the ball's going, and he wastes no time here getting position and posting up. And that player's not even on the ground yet with the ball caught, and he's already got great post position. So he's really thinking ahead. He's thinking, what is the next most likely action going to happen? Well, he's figured it out. Either that guy's going to shoot, or he's going to be able to pass it into him by having great position. And you obviously see he's already got him sealed. It goes in, easy finish for him. Make sure you click down below and get your free workout, and I'll send it right to your email. All you're going to have to do is click the button, enter your email, and I'll have a workout sent to you right in your email. Now, the one thing I really like about him, look at his feet move. You watch a lot of high school kids play, and here's where it comes from with high school kids. They haven't made the progression yet. They've been the tall kid probably. They've been a bigger, stronger kid. And so they're able to just stand there and dominate their competition. Well, now when you get to a level like this, that's not going to cut it anymore. You're going to have to move. And look at his feet move in here. His feet don't stop moving. He's always fighting for position. It's not just stand and give me the ball. He is working to get the ball the entire time. And if he just stood there, he's not getting the ball. Now he's got great position for the high low. Okay, let's watch him come off a of pick and roll again. Okay, he rolls, gets great position. He's aware of where the ball is the whole time. He's looking for the ball. If you watch younger players play when they cut, they roll, they don't even turn their heads for the ball. And look at his eyes. He's constantly watching the ball, seeing where it's going. If it's going to be shot, he'll just turn and go to the board, but it's passed, so he's able to catch it and another finish. He's not just plopping and dropping is what I call it. A lot of players, they plop and drop. They find one spot, they sit there, and they never move again, and they pray that somehow the ball is going to get thrown into them. All right, and then just I used to be a guard, and one other thing I would say about this is coaches a lot of times get mad at the guards for throwing a pass in to the post that gets deflected or stolen, but a lot of times you got a plop and dropper sitting there that you're throwing the ball to that does not move, doesn't come to the ball. And again, watch here. He's moving his feet, he's getting great position, great pass. But again, he sets it up because he moves. If he just stands there, none of this happens. It's because he moves, he moves, and he moves. Yeah, watch the feet. Watch the feet. Constantly, constantly. And then he goes and gets the ball right there. He doesn't wait for the ball to come to him. He goes and gets that ball. See, he steps out to the ball. See how his feet come out of the lane? And then he takes that step to the ball to secure the basketball. So if you're playing post, again, you can't just, you're not glued to a spot. You have to come get the ball. It's not going to matter if you come six inches to get the ball versus staying there and making your shot. It has nothing to do with making the shot. What the difference it's going to be is whether you get the ball or not. Because a lot of times that defense will come right around you and you're just standing there waiting for the ball. They tip it and then it's a turnover. You can see right there though how he comes out to get that ball. So we've seen him several times finish with his right and his left hand. He can finish either way. And if you're gonna play down low or even be a good basketball player, a guard doesn't matter. You need to be able to finish with either hand. Probably could have shot that right-handed, but Look how he seals the defense off, not just there, but he seals them off on the finish. 33's on his back. He goes under the rim with his left hand. There's no chance on earth that anybody's blocking that shot. And he's able to finish with either hand, which makes him even a tougher player to guard. 
Let's take a look at some Luka's offensive rebounds. Let's see how he gets those. Now we see here the Hawkeye at the top is coming open, wide open, and Luka reads that. He sees that, yeah, this guy's going to catch it and shoot it, and he wastes no time of trying to fight for inside position. The ball didn't get entered to him, so he does again. He doesn't stand and watch and see what's happening. He's knows what the next likely action is going to happen on the floor. So he sees it, he catches it open, and he knows his teammates, and he knows what shots they're going to take, and now he seals that guy inside, gives him great rebounding position, and gets him the board. Okay, let's watch him get position here. He's looking for the post there, doesn't get it, goes up top, so now he's looking for the seal there. So he's always making himself available to get a pass. It's not like... Oh, then I get the ball from the wing, and now I'm just going to wait till the ball is reversed and we'll do something. He constantly is looking to get the basketball, whether off a pass or a rebounded shot. All right, so we're trying to get the seal there. It's not going to come, and then we get it to the wide open shooter, and he's got good position. Now, of course, you got to watch about three seconds there, but again, he ended up getting great position for this rebound coming off to the weak side. So here we got Luca. He goes up for the shot. He doesn't get blocked out. But he goes back in. His team's got the ball. And he's just out hustling number 12 from Iowa State, getting better position. That's just easy for him. You know, again, he's not standing around watching. He's making things happen. Okay, again, post players, look how much space he's taking up. Look how low and wide he is. He is a big man to start with, and then he's taking up even more space. He's got his hands wide, his feet wide, he's low, he's ready to catch the ball. He's almost, he's always in post position, or he's in rebounding position, depending on what happens with the basketball. He is ready to go either way. Come in, and again, now, defense goes to help. He's got inside rebounding, and again, it's easy for him. Again, Iowa State really here just doesn't have anybody to handle somebody his size and strength. Let's look at the balls entered. Offensive players' feet don't move. Okay. His feet stop. The defense keeps going, which is Luca. He gets his hand on the ball. And that's what he doesn't do on offense. He doesn't stop and wait for the ball to come to him. He keeps going to the basketball until it's in his hands. And that's what you have to do as a post player. You have to go get the ball. You can't wait for it to come to you. Okay, let's take a look at Luca Garza in transition. Right down the middle of the floor. And let's watch how many people he outruns here. We'll make this a race. Luca is behind, if we're going to race the other end of the floor, he's behind number 15 right now, somewhat even. Number five is ahead of him. The guy on the floor is ahead of him if he gets up. And then the other player uh, there from Maryland is ahead of him. Let's see how many of these guys he outruns. He beat three guys down the court. Even though he missed the dunk, he still out hustled them. And that's as a post player. Again, the thing I love about Luca. It's constant movement, whether it's running up and down the court, it's on defense, it's post play, it's rebounding. Move, move, move. I'm going to bet in a foot race, Luke is probably not the fastest guy on the court here. Let's see. He's got the momentum going that way, so there's at least two Iowa State guys ahead of him here. So we'll see how many he passes up. All right, again, just not enough urgency from Iowa State to get back, and it's an easy bucket for him. He just outran him. Here, Luca scores off the rebound, and look at him sprint back on defense. He's already hustling back, getting back on people. He's not standing around jogging. He's getting back ready to play defense. He's just flat out out hustling people. 